Hello YouTube. Want to do a video on these Motorola DTR650 radios. These are really cool. Um, first off, these run on spread spectrum technology, actually frequency hopping spread spectrum, which means the frequency changes very rapidly between uh, 902 and 928 megahertz. So they use the ISM band, Industrial Scientific Medical, which makes them license free. And you don't have to have FCC license to use them. And they're also very secure. Now they don't use actual encryption, but the frequency hopping means that there's no police scanner or receiver out there apart from very high-end receivers like near-field receivers that are used for TSCM type works, e.g. bug sweeping, looking for spy devices. Those receivers, like the optoelectronics line, can lock onto the signal, but they can't demodulate the digital because it uses, um, I don't know if you pronounce it VSELP, but it's called VE or VSELP, which is the digital modulation technique. Um, I'll key it up and you can hear the other one. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. There is an audio delay, but it's not that bad. Um, what makes them really secure is you do have public groups, which um, the way a public group works is it's just like any, it's like a channel on one of these, one of these little FRS, GMRS radios. Um, so anyone on that public group will hear you. And you can see that number at the top, that's the ID or the serial number of the radio, kind of like an ESN on the phone. There's five default public groups. I think you can go up to like 50. Um, the public group has channel settings, like um, channel 1 through 10. Really all the channels are is it changes the frequency hopping pattern. So if you're on public group 1, channel 1, and someone else is on public group 1, channel 2, you're not going to interfere with each other. Um, what makes them secure, though, is when you use the private groups, like what I have set up here. Uh, group 1 and Group 2. You can go into Contacts and scroll down. This is the 43 radio right here, the 413. Um, and I'm talking to that radio directly when I do that and no one else is going to hear that. So that's, that's really cool. Um, but also, you could also, let's see, go home, Messages, Send Message, to group two, yeah we're on group two, send, and read, are you at work, and well, there you go. Now there is an optional keyboard, it's not made anymore, but it plugs into these. These phones are based on the Nextel technology, like the old Motorola Nextel iDIN phones with the push to talk. Um, only you don't need a cell phone tower or a repeater. They work simplex, which is, you just need two radios and you're good to go, or a friend with a radio. Um, so, but in order to do full text messaging, you need the keyboard, which was the same keyboard that the IDEN phones used, but it's really hard to find, so I don't have one yet. Mm, hope to get one. All the programming is done off the keypad. Um, you only need the cable and the free software if you want to add names to this group, the default group name obviously is group 2 because it's the second group I programmed. If you want to name the group security or friends or house or whatever, whatever you want to call it, you'd need the cable or that little plug-in keyboard. Um, other than that, you can do all the programming to get them up and going. Basic settings right off the radio. I'd recommend if you get them, look at the user manual and read through it thoroughly because it's kind of, it's a little bit tricky to learn, but if you're familiar with radio programming, it's not hard. You need to actually send, if you make a new group on a radio, you need to send the new group over the air to the other radios. It's got over the air cloning, which is kind of cool. Um, but they're really secure little radios for basic use. There's not going to be any scanner listeners or people out there that are really going to be receiving on these, hearing what you're saying. So they're good for that. Uh, some businesses use them. You might hear businesses on the public talk groups if you scan through them, but I haven't found any yet, so I don't think there's a whole lot of users of these radios. 
out there, so they're kind of an obscure thing. Motorola has discontinued these models, but they do have a DTR700 and a DTR600 out that are a little bit more newer. They have color screens and whatnot, so you're able to still buy the same technology, and they are compatible with these. They do use, these ones use the exact same batteries as the old Nextel phones, so that's kind of cool. And um, for their size, they're very solid. I mean, they're a lot more solid than, say, a radio like this where it's just plastic. These have rubberized edges, and, and they're pretty, pretty tough. But I thought I'd make a little video on these. Um, they're not hard to program off the keypad if you read the manual. And if you buy the cable, the cables are like 20 to 30 bucks online. Or if you have an old serial cable for your Nextel phone that you used to have, it'll probably work. And no, these are not compatible with the Nextel phones. It's a whole, it's, a, it's almost identical system, but they've changed a few key pieces that make them not compatible. Um, I think the hopping rates are different, the frequency hopping rates, but they're almost identical to the Nextel. They just don't have a keypad or phone capabilities. But there you have it, Motorola DTR650. There's also a 550 and a 410, which all share very similar features. But thanks for watching.